Hello friends, so in this video tutorial of Power BI series as we are doing the first part summarize function with AND and your filter and here you will do summarize function with filter, top end and sum x function so how we can use that so let's see so first of all like we have a table like I will show you the table again which table we are talking about it is basically a super store table uh, I will go to the super store this is an order table here this is the table if I will click over this table so it will show us the detail of our table this is our order table and in this order table what we have if I will click over this okay it is a bit slow now this is our order table and what we have we have a profit here and some profit are in negative so if you will put a filter here uh, like ascending or descending order so it will show us uh, like we have a loss also so if we want to create a table where we have top 10 products which make the loss so how we can make that top 10 products with the loss we can even create a new table and summarize like we did earlier where we will find loss only uh, like this time uh, we will create a table where we have make a loss so for that I will go to the home tab here and from home tab I will take new table and after taking the new table a screen will appear it is a slow a bit slow okay it is taking a few seconds here and after a few seconds okay we have this power bi text now here I will write a new table here and I will just in increase this side and give this table a name top 10 product loss making products I will give it a name then I will put equal to then I will give a formula top end so top end formula is finding out the top whatever number of unique want to find out I put 10 here then I could put enter and after putting the enter here I will put the formula summarize because this will create a table and after putting the summarize I will put a filter here so I have to put a filter and this filter is basically for our table for our table where we have to put this or in order table we have to put filter and here we have to take order profit uh, discount is not type this time we are taking the profit earlier we have taken discount now where discount is less than zero uh, sorry like sorry where profit is less than zero yeah it means like there is negative profit then I will put comma here then I will put enter uh, I have to close this also that's why showing a red, red sign here then I will go to the third line and in third line I will put order then I will put products uh, product name so we have to find out the product name and we will make a table here with the name I think we have to go to the next line so that it will be clear ok here I will create a name of the table which will be total loss I will give it a name of total loss what we will make or there then I will close this then I will put the formula sum x here and in sum x what I will take I will take our order comma this is our table order sorry then I will comma and then I will put order and here I will take profit and just close this then I will put comma enter and here I will give the name uh, I will close it twice I will close it twice and here I will give this name uh, which we want to make the uh, new column which is total loss and then I will close this 
and put it in ascending order so it will give ascending results then close this so here there we have make a formula which is basically top 10 loss making product and we have put top n first then 10 summarize then we will put filter first of all we will check it and then i will explain so i will check it this way we i click over this and now it will create a table first so now we have a total product name and losses whatever losses there but here is the table now we will see this formula one by one first of all we will take top end so we have are finding the top 10 products then we will take summarize to create a table we will put a filter there then we will take the order name and from order name we will take the profit which is less than zero so this is the filter and the second thing we will take we have to find out the order name with a new column with the total loss name and where we will put the sum x formula so that we can have adding all the profits there sum x is basically for giving the totality of that and that's all from this video and you will create a table and now you can watch other things next time thank you very much